What's up guys, it's your boy Junkie. Guess what, giveaway is back this week and it's time to get in and win that 2400 CP gift card. Just do the following to enter if you haven't done so already. Number one, subscribe to my channel. Number two, like this video. Number three, this time leave a comment with hashtag modern warfare. I read all your comments and I try to reply as many as I can so please do so. Anyway, once again, this is your boy Junkie and I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace. Hey guys, today I want to show you guys a strategy that I used to win this season's tournament in Modern Warfare. I strongly believe that the strategy and tactic are as important as your aim, and if you can read your opponent's behavior and playing pattern, combining this information with human psychology, you can sort of get into your opponent's head to predict what he would do. With that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, I want to do a walkthrough of how I won the tournament, and I want to let you guys know what strategy I took, and also in general what was going through my mind during the game. I wholeheartedly believe that if you follow follow my strategies and tactics and apply them into your tournament, you can increase the chance of winning. Also, every match is different and you have to adjust your strategy to your own advantage and don't get discouraged if you can't win the first few times. The state of my mind while I was playing tournament has always been casual and lighthearted because personally, I know I can perform at my best when I'm not under any pressure and you guys can try that as well. Most of the time, my mind or goal was just to get more practice in trying out my strategy during the tournament. So without further ado, let's just jump into this. I started my recording halfway during my first match because like I said before, most of the time I wasn't planning on winning the tournament. Instead, I was just practicing and trying out strategies. So after playing the first few rounds with this team, I can see that there is potential of winning. So I started recording in the middle of the match. As you can see, my teammate was down and I'm in a 1 versus 2 situation. So I need to eliminate one of the opponents fast before they can gain up on me. Luckily, I know that they're not together. So I quickly sneak in and took out one of them. And then I engaged the other opponent, but the time was running out. He made a mistake of turning his back on me while running to the flag. I took him out immediately, and now we are 5-0, match point. They've almost had it, one more round chaps. For this round, I see that they are split up again, so I'm confident to pick out the one on my side. And I know that my teammate was taken down, but I know the other guy is in the other building, so I'm prepared to engage. And there you go, an easy 6-0, easy peasy lemon squeezy. And yeah, I kind of carry my teammate in the first match, but as you can see later, he picked up my slack when I was not performing. This happens a lot of time during the tournament. It's funny because we finished our match so fast that we had to wait a long time before the other team finished theirs. I'm just gonna fast forward this so you don't have to wait. Okay, for our second match, we have two guys from the same clan. Usually when that happens, it's not as bad as you think. In fact, I win most of the time when I'm going against guys within the same clan, so don't get pressure or stress out. Always keep a cool head, just do what you need to do, which is to use strategy. For this map, it's actually a very easy map. One of my favorite because it is so predictable. There are two sides, there's the left side and there's the right side, and then there's the middle. Everything is very clear cut. What I'm trying to say is that they can't really hide anywhere to ambush you. I'm going to fast forward this. Oh, and for the side note, you should try to go on the offense during the tournament because the map are relatively small and opponents will know where you are. So it's good to go on the offense and give them the element of surprise. As always, the guns that are given to you play a big part in your strategy. With handgun and fist, Kill I went with a close core compact tactic and I try to get as close as I can before delivering the blow. I know for most players, they have a tendency of going through the building, so I always try to use what I know to my advantage, and I choose to go through the middle to no get them else. from Complete behind. The but unfortunately, the opponent spotted me, so I couldn't give them a surprise attack and was killed. But that's totally the thing. To me, losing the first few rounds are perfectly use fine, because them. each round you play, you learn more about your opponents, as you will see later on in the match. For this round, I also decided to go through the middle because I feel that they would do the same thing as last round since they won.
and this time my teammate was taken out early was down so it's all up to me and i need to take out the last guy before he recuperate from the last fight luckily no one was there and all that is at the left. perfect timing Phoenix. maintain pressure next round we crush them For the next round, we are given a crossbow and a handgun. So now my strategy is changed to not only do close quarter combat, but also long range as well. I will try to snipe them with the crossbow at the beginning to see if I get lucky. No luck. That means they are on their way and I don't want to be the sitting duck at my base. So I need to quickly intercept the opponent fast. At this moment, I was thinking if they are not on this side, I know they are most likely coming from the other side. And notice that my teammate is also on this side. That means we're in trouble because no one is guarding our side or our back. So quickly went to check the side from the other building and there he was. I took him out with my crossbow. Two wins down. Keep up the pressure. From the last match, I noticed that there was only one guy in the other team. Not sure why, but to me, I used that to my advantage. I decided to go with my teammate because because there's no way he could have outgunned both of us. But it turned out the other opponent was there. No sweat, just gunfight as usual. Pretty casual round for us. Three up, three down. Keep fighting. For this round, Weapons we are ready. now given a P90 SMG, which is one of my favorite. I kind of got too confident and I just ran right into them. My teammate picked up my slack and took out both of them. Again, I also messed up this next round as well because I was overconfident. They're making us fight for it. Give it to them. to engage for this round we're now given a shotgun which gives us a great close range and also somewhat of a distant range I decide to go through the middle but as you can see my teammate already took them out stay focused no mistakes this round is ours for the match point I decide to go head to head with them but with some precaution. This is match point. One more win to go. I took out one of them quickly, but got killed in the process. Then my team took him out afterward. So at the end, so at the end, we won 6-2. Pretty easy win for this match. Okay guys, it's getting late, so I'm gonna wrap up this video. I covered the first two matches today, and I will be covering the last two matches in the next video. I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comment below if you guys want more content like this in this channel. Once again, this is your boy Junkie, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great weekend. Peace.